Best Boxing Knockouts of 2023 David Morell Jr. delivers brutal finish, Gervonta Davis stops Ryan Garcia. 2023 has been a great year for boxing, with a fight of the year list that has grown seemingly every weekend. But alongside the heaps of all-action battles, there have been some big-time knockouts. From championship-winning shots to lesser-known fighters making a name with serious one-shot power, there have been plenty of knockouts to please even the most discerning boxing fan, including in the biggest fight of the year, when Gervonta Davis put Ryan Garcia down with a body shot on April 22. Below is a running list of the best boxing knockouts in 2023. This page will be continuously updated throughout the year, so check back frequently to see new entries. Smith entered his fight with Eubank as a very live underdog. Few, if anyone, believed a Smith upset would come by early stoppage. After a strong start by Eubank, Smith turned things around in round four, landing a hard flurry that sent Eubank to the canvas. While Eubank was able to beat the count, a follow-up flurry from Smith resulted in one of the more shocking knockout upsets of recent years. Eubank was also left with grotesque swelling under his eye as a result of the Smith assault. Eubank's team was quick to say they'd activate the rematch clause for the fight and the pair are expected to rematch later in 2023. Roca was originally set to face Anthony Young but instead ended up across the ring from short notice replacement Ashi. It didn't take Roca long to realize that Ashi didn't have the power to hurt him. After that realization, Roca chose to charge face first into Ashi's offense to land his own big shots before a right hand bomb laid out Ashi and ended the fight. After the win, Roca called for a fight with Terence Bud Crawford and one month later, the WBO ordered the matchup, putting Roca in position for the biggest fight of his career. For nearly all of seven rounds, would show that he had been overlooked by most coming into the fight. It only takes one shot from Lara to change a fight, however, and that shot came late in round seven. Both men dipped and twisted their hips to fire off left hooks, but it was Lara who got their first and hardest, cracking Wood on the chin and sending him flat on his back to the canvas. Wood beat the count but his corner waved off the fight. Given Wood entered as WBA featherweight champion, he had a rematch clause baked into the contract and Wood said after the fight that he absolutely wanted a rematch. Nunez vs. Sica wasn't a fight on anyone's radar, but that didn't stop Nunez from using it to cement himself in the conversation for knockout of the year. In the second round, Nunez hopped forward and unloaded a right hand that immediately put Sica to sleep. The knockout was Nunez's 24th, maintaining his 100 career knockout rate while handing Sika the first defeat of his professional career. Some knockouts come by one big shot, others by an accumulation of punches. Pacheco's finish of Cullen falls firmly in the latter camp. First, a brutal left hand to the body put Cullen on the canvas. Cullen managed to get to his feet, but rather than go back to the body, Pacheco threw a five-punch combo to the head that crumbled Cullen and forced the referee to jump in and halt the bout in the fourth round. Pacheco stayed undefeated with the win and took advantage of the opportunity to main event when Callum Smith was injured and forced out of his fight with Pavel Stepien. Fundora entered his fight with Mendoza as a heavy favorite and was expected to cruise and retain his position as a mandatory challenger to the undisputed junior middleweight titles. Instead, Fundora's reckless style of disregarding his massive physical advantages at 6 foot 6 allowed Mendoza to land a cracking hook and right hand to put Fundora on the canvas for one of the most shocking knockouts of the year as a massive underdog. Morel has proven to have scary power in his short but already impressive career. He entered his bout with Falcao on the undercard of Gervonta Davis vs. Ryan Garcia after seeing the devastating effects of that power. Morel knocked out Idos Yerbasinuli in a result that saw Yerbasinuli placed in a medically induced coma. The Cuban fighter showed no hesitation to let his punches go despite the tragedy of the Yerbasinuli fight. It took less than one round for Morel to drop Falcao twice, the second of which left Falcao out cold on the canvas. In the biggest fight of the year, Davis faced off with Garcia in a blockbuster event. The fight was competitive, with both young fighters looking to land big shots. It was Davis who struck first, dropping Garcia hard with a left hand in the second round. Garcia was able to quickly return to his feet and fight on, but it was clear Davis' power may simply be too much for Garcia. That proved out in round 7 when Davis landed a sharp left hand to Garcia's body. The liver shot caused a delayed knockdown and Garcia was unable to get to his feet as the referee counted to 10.